I welcome you to our study. It's a real joy to see you. I don't know if I'll be sued for naming titles or not, but I, that's all right. Billy Graham's Bible Blaster? Keep firing! Convert the heathens! If you're murdering somebody in cyberspace, in a sense, you're performing the act, you like it or not. You know, this guy comes to my house. He's a Satanist from one of the Satanist churches here where they sacrifice babies. I know Jesus. That man is or can become a god. We urge you just to call a neighbor, tell him to watch along with you, or for you to... Uh, uh, get comfortable there and get ready for it. That's how we start every Sunday with the Lord's Hooey. Well, Ooh. it's good to be back. Hey, you it know, is. it's just it's sometimes, you know, honestly, I'd love to pray to God every Sunday, but that's just not how the Lord wants it to be, you know? <laughs> I love to pray to God every day of every week of every moment of my life. Folks, welcome to the Sunday service. We are here. We are here to be with you in love and Amen. embrace and passion. Amen. Here. Amen. Uh, this is... um. Can't say it enough. Amen. Amen. Our, this is probably our final uh, little Zoom call here for you folks as the world opens up again and we are allowed back into... The CVSs and the massage parlors and the elementary schools. We can go and, and do me. Christ in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, but what we can't do uh, is pay for our OBS subscription. So we're going to be uh, moving on to live after or in person after this. But for this glorious Sunday, we will still be here to teach you about the video games of the Lord, the youth, and everything that you love. Praise be Amen. unto Him. Um, uh, sorry, I got a bit of a cough here. Um, the intro. Uh, it's not COVID, is it? Because that's not <laughs> no, real. No, of course not. I don't, I'm not vaccinated. I'd be dead. Uh, it's not real anyways. Uh, I'm going to read our here little daily verse here. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. And, I didn't mean to elbow you there. And let's uh, get us. Sorry. I realize how big I am on the screen. <laughs> and you're tiny behind me. Uh, I'm going to read this verse here. It's Ezekiel 23, 19 through 20. It's one of my favorite, favorite verses to visualize. It's a very visual verse, folks, and you just got to visualize it. Yet she multiplied her promiscuity, remembering the days of her youth when she had prostituted herself in the land of Egypt and lusted after their lovers whose genitals were like those of donkeys and whose emission was like that of stallions. I tell you what, when I was a kid, that was my favorite Bible verse. I mean, too. My mama would... <laughs> Recite it. A cross stitch that on the okay. pillow. Okay, yeah. We're, okay, we're moving on now. We're yeah, cross on. stitch on the wall. <laughs> that verse. <laughs> Daddy would. Today's cross him. Again, I, I, I'm sorry. It turns out that we just, uh, like Will said, we're running out of money, and we forgot to put aside some money for the uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars we would have to pay in licensing to play today's him, which is "Hello" by Adele. I love this song because it's just like my prayers. It starts with hello, has a lot of begging to a man that won't answer me, and then eventually ends in tears. Fantastic song. Fan. Well, how about you tell us, what is a Sunday a service? Well, folks, Sunday service is a, a, a marvelous thing here that we have developed where we can uh, share the Lord with those who are not have access to physical places. It's hard to put churches places, folks. It's hard to have them and you can't just set them up you can't just put a tent up and say you're a church so we're just put up this website here twitch we invented it and uh we're here for the lord uh and twitch uh, for the we, lord. We, we twitch for the lord <laughs> uh, every day and we just want to show them off to you and we figured the best way to do it is highlight christian video games and the ways they make us feel Absolutely. And if you folks, uh, if you feel so inspired by what you're seeing on the screen that you want to shout out in joyous rapture, you can find a soundboard in the chat channel points as well as right below the stream where you can play all sorts of incredible edible sounds for the Lord. You know, it's just not quite a church unless there's people just screaming gibberish as much as they can. You know what I'm oh, saying, Will? Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, oh man, Father oh, man, indeed. Uh, moving on here, we're going to head over to our first game, folks, uh, and that is this lovely game called The Ten Commandments. I'm going to go ahead and hit a button that makes it happen. Oh, uh, you know, I've never heard of this before. Let me just Google Ten Commandments. <laughs> just Google them. They're easy. Wow, there are ten of them. I've never heard of these before. You ever heard of these? The I had never heard of them. I think it's some sort of... Uh, thing from the old testament which we don't usually bother with uh brother Ian, uh, brother Ian, i just want to make sure you can see the screen here in this tiny little window uh i can actually see just that which is honestly okay. that's also what i can just see because programs pre-2010 don't often like when you relinquish for control is the this the screen. ten commandments bible trivia game for kids i cer <laughs> certainly don't know if i was more <laughs> It's presented by oh, Moses. Moses. <laughs> and AT&T. <laughs> right, I apologize. It's just looking up Ten Commandments, Ten Commandments game, video game. Turns out there's a fuckload of them. Oh, everybody loves Jesus. Come in and have a seat. I'll be with oh, you in a boy. moment. Just finishing up some email to my pal Can Joshua. Can we see this? I don't think... There. Oh, no. Well, oh, no. so nice to have visitors. Sorry. Oh, sorry, folks. I'm sorry. We're going to have to start all over. Oh, we're going to have to start. All right. Uh, thankfully, that game is easy to exit. I apologize for that, folks. A little technical difficulty from uh, from John down in the tech booth. Uh, now we can see it. <laughs> just John's going to be whipped out back later. It's one thing to make a mistake. It's another thing to make a mistake during a Sunday service. That's yeah, a you sin piece of God. shit. Your wife left yeah, you for John. a reason, John. Yeah, John. But you couldn't click on her. With a little help from Sunday software. <laughs> The Ten Commandments, written in blood. Shalom! Come in and have a seat. I'll be with you in a moment, just finishing up some email to my pal Joshua. There. Well, it's so nice to <laughs> have Look at that computer. It's incredible. Not it's a lot like the of Temple of Solomon. Not the time to learn about God's commandments these days. Hey, Windows Seems way back like when. everybody's making up their own That's rules. 95, Managing ain't it? sheep. Before you sheep. start your climb, I've whipped Predatory up a whole sheep. Sheep. media presentation <laughs> to show you. <laughs> It's all about how our people came to be here in the first place. Let's see now. Where's this my is my favorite rendition of God. Of, oh, it's Hello, Moses. It all started Hello, little director's God, chair. The great I Am made this whole planet just for us. It just for us. It was a beautiful garden. At least <laughs> I want that computer so bad. But then people started picking on each other, telling lies. It's, it's worshiping a, rocks it's and a Temple of Solomon things. model God with a retro TV. I'm very unhappy about <laughs> all that. Especially you don't have one of those? And rock stuff. I know, I need to buy one. So the Lord called Abraham and his family out I'm going to go down to my local Christian bookstore and see if they here. have one. <laughs> yeah. And planted them at the Dot crossroads com. of the world in a land called Canaan, right here. The idea was that this family would instruct the world in the right worship of God. <laughs> we actually learned other. something on this Sunday service. Would be a kingdom of I apologize if I'm distracted. I have a sinner sending me messages. I'm just Abraham's a baptizing grandson via the Joseph Joseph what and his the family ended hell. up in Egypt, and eventually their descendants became slaves building things there. No, we didn't build the Sphinx, but it is pretty cool looking. God heard Those are different things. slaves. Well, you know this it's a shame they story. couldn't send her the picture on that screen. Major motion picture. <laughs> There's me in the starring role when I was younger. <gasps> Handsome Prince fella. of Egypt. Fantastic. Do you think they got permission to so use that photo from the, all the Hebrews dream? Oh, it's, it's just Moses. You don't need permission to <laughs> present God's God. words. It's true. All the way, I might add. Sometimes okay, that sounds a little bit anti-Semitic, if I may say so myself. I had to keep reminding them of this, and that's just Charles Heston. He looks well, he looks more light skinned than the previous now. picture of him. It's a little Once weird. We got to Mount Sinai, I don't the know. Lord the, said, uh, Moses, come up here. Never mind. <laughs> so I went up amid the fire and smoke and thunder of God's presence, and God carved the Ten Commandments out. As you climb, oh God, mountain, I love God, this look of Moses. Keep your so eyes much. and mind wide open. Who, who the is Lord that? Yahweh, who Picture is, of who was, and is that Mary? Who always will be. <laughs> no, Moses is sure is to be before Mary. When you seek to follow, I don't know. The they look weird. They got blood coming out of their eyes. There's a camel for you, folks. Uh, it's I funny. You that. actually, to be more secure, you sit on those. And it really just locks you <laughs> on the. <laughs> This is why the show has ended, folks. We can't be contained. Oh. Uh, where, what am I doing? Is this 
This is my favorite game, Geo. Whatever it's is called. Is this just a series of, of? Let me see if I can find some. Is this just a series of 3D images? Oh! That's a mosque. Queen Helena. Where am I supposed to go? The sun is bright. Can I just say, if I played this game as a child in elementary school, I would have loved it. It's got a lot going on here. Let me see if Ooh. I can find you some. I think there's What's a help called? document. <clears throat> oh! Oh! Welcome to Chaos Canyon. To the Hebrews, deep or rough water could symbolize evil or chaos, which is why they don't swim in the ocean. In Genesis 1-1, God brought order and safety to the formless void and darkness covering the face of the deep. What is the law? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is your life preserver. I'll go to the the promised promise. land was both a real place for the Hebrews and a state of mind. What would be your own definition of a promised land? Taco Bell. Orgy. Oh, Brother Will. I mean, an uh, orgy of love. We don't talk about <laughs> we don't talk about what happened at the Southern Bible Convention last year. <laughs> the right. anti commandments from the My Way Bible. May I, Brother Will? You may. Yeah, I believe in God, but what does that have to do with anything? I can worship God on my own way, on my own time. I'm in charge of me, not God, and certainly not. Oh, I, I'm gonna break character. These are really not that bad commandments. These are. <laughs> Yeah, anybody can worship God in your own way. Yeah, that's called good religion, assholes. Uh, life isn't meant to be taken seriously. Sex, need I say more? <laughs> yes, please. Everybody lies and cheats a little. Shot till you drop. Add your own anti-commandment here. Uh, Will, what's your, what, add an anti-commandment, please. What? Ooh, sorry, what? I got a boner. <laughs> That's my anti-commandment. Don't get boners. I mean, get boners. Oh, okay. No boners. You gotta beat them into submission. How do I... What? Two sun... Uh oh. What is the law? What's your commandment? I'm referring to the law and the law of Moses. Oh, man. This is easy. Leap of oh, faith. No, the bridge broken. Ooh, feet for the free. Is stranded? <laughs> to be saved, to get to heaven, to win God's forgiven hands. Yeah, I think it's uh. literally just the second one. No! I mean, those runs I don't know. I, fifth, for, for, for fifth, for fifth. I mean, I'm, I, I'm not... I am a pastor, but I, I wouldn't consider myself an expert on Christianity, but I believe 100% of the reason people believe in Christianity is because of this magical place called heaven. If that didn't exist, you know, then there's no way in hell we'd be coming to church on Sundays. Brother, you know, I feel like pastors are too uh, too centered on the past when we should be centered on the present. That's why I'm a presenter. And I'm here to tell everyone about today. The How long have you been sitting on that one, Brother Will? About 15 minutes. Wow. This is as barren as my wife. Moving on, you know, folks. Honestly, before Google Earth, this was a miracle. <laughs> Seeing 3D and matches like that. I just that. realized they had a quote. I didn't read what the quote was, but it just said Dash Yahweh. <laughs> 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 we got him on the box, folks. I'm pretty sure God said this. <laughs> uh, folks, moving on here. We're going to head on over to our favorite part. Uh, uh, UPS is emailing me for a package. Um, yep. Uh, our favorite part here, over to <coughs> Pastor Chad. He's going to tell us oh. all sorts of. He was in the back down in he was, Monster uh, yeah, Energy drinks. I was just Let about to send him. you. Yeah, I'm going to send yeah, you I'm to go, get him. I'm going to go grab. Uh, I'm folks, grab. Pastor Chad is probably one of my favorite people here. He gives great back rubs, and he's just got a mind for God. And my favorite thing about him is just when he plays basketball and gets sweaty, sometimes he, he just pops that shirt off, and it's great to see the Lord glisten on him in the in the evening. Uh, <laughs> folks, uh, we uh, we have a... If you would like to donate to the church here, 100% of our proceeds go straight into our wallet. So that's uh, there's a link down below to donate, I think, or it's uh, streamlabs.com slash subpixel team. You can just give us a little boop, boop. I'm going to head on over to Pastor Chad here 
and he's just going to have a great, great old time with you folks. Hello, little kids. How you doing today? Especially you, little Timmy, right there, front row. I love looking at your face. You look so confused and stupid. Hi! Oh, there he is. Just so much joyousness, he don't know how dim he is. Today, we're going to be talking about something that's going to cap off season one of Sunday service in this here session. We're going to talk about the most important thing we've been trying to teach you this entire season. How to tell if a video game is Christian or not, and whether or not you should be playing it. Brother, I'm sorry, Dad, Timmy, little Timmy, let me ask you a question. If a game has cute animals in it, is it okay to play it? Um, I guess so. It's a trick question, Timmy, you idiot. The answer's maybe. There are certainly cute little games with animals in them, but there's also games like Cult of the Lamb, where you sacrifice these little babies, you collect bones, and you do satanic rituals. Absolutely not a Christian video game. Let me ask you something, little Timmy. You're at your local Best Buy, Kmart, EB Games, and you see a game on the shelf called Halo. Is that a good game to play? If it's about angels. Of course it is. It's called Halo. It can't be called anything else. That's exactly right. Good job, little Timmy. Another question for you. Another question. For you. Is it okay to play video games where you shoot people? N no. Well, I'm sorry, little Timmy, you idiot. Trick question. You see, there are some video games where you're shooting people and that's bad. Like that Grand Theft Auto series. You should never shoot a prostitute. However... If the video game is like Call of Duty and has you going to foreign lands and forcibly converting all sorts of heathens living over there in the eastern middle region, then it's a good Christian game for you. You know what I'm saying, little Timmy? Fuck yeah! <laughs> there you go, little Timmy. I don't like the language, but I love the enthusiasm. When you're on your Steams or your, your Fortnites, you need to ask yourself, is this game appropriate? If you play this game and you feel like you're being righteous, and you're spreading the good word of the Lord, then it's a good Christian video game. But if you find yourself staring at Chun-Li's thighs as she's twerking on the battle bus before you drop in on Tilted Towers, then it's absolutely not a good Christian video game. Any questions, Timmy? What, um, what are thighs? Little Timmy, that's going to be enough for today. I'll take you to KFC later and teach you all about thighs and grease and finger looking good. That's going to be it for this session, folks. Thank you so much for your Sunday service. And kids, you can play games just as long as you're thinking about the Lord. Amen, brother Chad there. What a wonderful and lovely uh, uh, message there from the kids and to the kids. Those kids have been sitting there for six months. And they're getting gross. They should probably go home. Their parents should probably pick them up. Uh, I believe Father Ian, he's coming right back up here. Howdy. Yeah, I'll tell you a little secret. When that whole teen Bible study is going on, I like to sit in the back and just stare at them kids and see them accept the Lord in their rosy little cheeks. You know what I'm saying? It is incredible to see them flush with the Lord. <laughs> Folks, moving on here. We're going to play our next video game. Uh, here it's called um, prayer. Uh, eat your hair. It is not called that. It is called prayer warriors. This game is what I like to call incredible. I have it's it's so incredible. I have to run it inside another video game. Um, it's I'm great. sorry. Uh, you did. Th th I believe the full name is prayer warriors. A O F G. Oh, what does I, that stand for, brother William? Eight on fuck God. I don't actually know. Uh, excuse. <laughs> uh, excuse. Let me just get the game up here for folks to see at home. Can you run this? I'm just looking. It requires Windows 95, Pentium 2 or faster, a Sound Blaster card, and 64 to 128 megabytes of RAM. Are you sure you can handle that? I, I certainly hope I can. I would like to provide a service for the people. Now, I'm, I, I, I don't mean to interject anymore. But there is a 3 minute 58 second speed run world record for this game. Damn. Uh, should we watch this here intro movie? Absolutely. That's what we're here for. Show us the prayer warriors. We welcome you now with the following challenge. Choose this day whom you will serve. You've been called for such a time as this. 
to engage in the battle between good and evil. Remember that only by finding and putting on the full armor of God will you be able to succeed. Go forth then and claim your victory. <laughs> Honestly, Amen. that animation was pretty good. <laughs> this lip synced real Sorry. well. I know. It's pretty it's hot. Ooh. Uh, we're going to hit male. Uh, a fun fact, you hit female, then let you play. going to hit male here. Choose this day who you will serve. Is this Quake? Uh, what is this after? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. How do I move my camera? I think there's an A. a uh... Maybe it's like it's like a A F O L, which is adult fans of Lego. Maybe maybe A O G <laughs> means like adults adults only fans for God. Adults only fans for God. I don't. I, I legitimately do not know how to turn. I'm, I'm googling huh? over here. Prayer warrior, locate and rescue the children. Okay, I apparently didn't pick it up. Oh, I think what, I know what, what the issue is here. I don't think it is fully capturing my mouse. Give me two seconds here, folks. Um, I'm looking up. Cursor. Mouse clipper on. Five steps to become a prayer warrior. Okay, okay this should work now. Hopefully. Yep, it's working. Reminds me, I need to read the There we go. My mouse wasn't being captured, so I couldn't turn. Can we just have an audio check real quick? Because it's loud for me, which I'm okay with. I just don't want to be too loud for the stream. Uh, I don't think it's too loud. I will turn it down a bit for him, though. That's a good call there, brother Ian. Incoming Simon transmission. And Simon and Goth's Wizard University? Is this a Harry Potter game? Well, this game is... Not enjoying not happy. <laughs> Anything I'm doing. Oh, it's because you clicked out of the window, didn't you? Yeah, let me try tabbing back into it. No, it hates it. Okay, one let me more try. Oh, one more. Fresh oh. run. Run more try. We're not going to click anything outside of it. People are playing this. I found multiple speed runs on YouTube's. It's, uh, you know, it's probably one of the best games out there. Uh, uh, got some spiritual armor here. Picked up this thing. It's good. We got that on our screen now. Uh, it's just gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna be there. I don't know. Is there a button in the bottom center? You would think. What about tab, escape, enter space? <laughs> you would what think about I... Alt F4? <laughs> oh, oh, I opened the oh. door. Oh, no. I've now lost the ability to move. God works in mysterious ways, folks, and some of those ways are making shitty video games. We're going to move on here, um, <laughs> and we're going to just, we're just going to move on. Um, I believe... <laughs> Uh, we've got a, a person in the confessional coming in, so I'm going to switch over. I'm going to go get him, and I'm going to switch over to you, Brother Ian. Thank you, Brother Will. Let me put on my nice confessional sash. You know, the difference between normal priestly clothes and confession is just this nice white piece of cloth. This reminds me of God's hands and fingers wrapped around your neck at all times. Your life is in his hands. You do the wrong thing, you sin too much, and he's going to choke you out. You know what I'm saying? That's what this reminds you of. All times, weight of God's hands and fingers clasped around your throat. I am ready for confession. Do we have somebody on the other side ready to come? Hello, Father. Uh, hello there. What's your name? Welcome. Uh, my name's uh, Seymour. 
Well, hello, Seymour. Now let's keep it anonymous, so don't tell me your full name. Seymour Butts. Oh, thank you, Seymour, Mr. Butts. Now, Mr. Seymour Butts, what are you here for today? Um, Father, I had an interesting event happen to me over the weekend, and I feel like I must confess. Yeah, does it have something to do with managing to lick the top of your penis? <laughs> How did you Just know, a, Father? <laughs> it's just a hunch. You know, you, you wouldn't believe it, but that's what the last guy came in here for. <laughs> oh my goodness, it must be going around. The devil must be in that gas station bathroom. Um, I was, I was, uh, well, as you correctly guessed, Father, I was sitting on the toilet, constipated, of course, really trying to push those chunkers out. And my, uh, my idiot butt forgot to bring my phone in there, so. Of course, I'm sitting there with my penis all erect, just kind of oh, hanging out. Lord and I figured, in how, how close can I get that? So I really suck in my gut, get down there, and you know what, Father? I, I licked the top of my penis. I want to be very clear about this. The Lord makes it very clear what type of sexual activities you are allowed to partake in and not allowed to partake in so let's go through them number one number one masturbation not allowed Dang. far end of the spectrum consensual well sex with your wife <laughs> that's allowed <laughs> holy matrimony now in the middle there are things like soaking now as long as it is an atypical sexual activity that technically is okay under the eyes of the Lord. So things like soaking, jumping, ear holes, anything like that is perfectly okay as long as we don't talk about it. Unfortunately, you have now talked about it to your priest, so I will be calling your parents later this evening. How old are you, Seymour? I'm 43. Well, that's a shame. I'm going to have to call the nursing home then. This is uh, inappropriate on so many levels. Uh, quite frankly, if you want to know the appropriate uh, actions you can take outside of matrimony, you need to go talk to the the teen Bible study. Uh, Youth Pastor Chad has all sorts of ideas. It's it's one of his specialties. Is the yes, the no, the maybe, the don't talk about it list. Does that make sense, Seymour? Yeah. <laughs> well, Excuse Seymour. Me, Father. Yes. No, Seymour, Seymour, we need to talk about your punishment. Yes, Father. Your punishment is you're going to go to the store, go to and the you're going to buy a box of popsicles, <laughs> and you're going to eat every single one of them, one after the other. This is what I like to call immersion therapy. You think you want to have something that shape in your mouth? Well, you're going to do a lot of it until you hate it. You understand me, Seymour? What if I like it? She <laughs> will not. Your mouth going to be so numb, you're going to start drooling, you're going to be a mess, you're going to have grape, strawberry, orange, lemon all over you in the middle of that grocery store. It's going to be disgusting. I hope you get arrested for eating but popsicles My mouth's going to be so cold that I'll need something warmed. <laughs> no, absolutely not, Seymour. You know what? You need to do two Hail Marys, three One, Sunday services, two, and three. one more. Thank you. And uh, you're going to have to get on your knees and pray, just prayer. Every single night for the next two weeks, and then come back to me. All right? That makes sense now, Seymour? Yes, I guess so, Father. Thank you. Good. Thank you, Seymour. Fucking sinner. <laughs> well, folks. Confession. You never know what they're going to come with. You know, I've been a priest for nearly 27 years since I was 10 years old. And the thing is... Every Sunday, every confession, you always hear something new. Never would have thought. Never would have thought it'd be possible. Brother Will, you back from your little smoke break? <laughs> yep, you know it. I'm here. I'm full of nicotine, and I'm ready to go. Amen. Well, I, I believe we have the final game of Sunday Service Season 1. Is that correct? This is true, folks. This is a game I ordered off of OneChristianBook.com. It has arrived. I'm very excited to play it. The Lord uh, is means a lot of things to the world. Uh, sorry, i got to minimize a lot of things here because we're going to have to show the desktop, so I apologize there, Brother Ian. Yeah, I was just looking at your desktop. <laughs> and uh, So I'm just going to switch here. Uh, i got to switch the game. Got to hit that. Got to hit that. Uh, this, is my, this is my desktop, folks. 
it's kind of a place I come to relax, and I just think about how Jesus really influenced the founding of our country when he came over Amen. on the Mayflower and was able and to... And wrote the Constitution. And wrote the Constitution, give birth to George Washington and Abraham Lincoln, and to just banish... Amen. Oh no, Harriet Tubman's there. Don't Is that worry. a British so- <laughs> British World War One soldier on the left? I think that's the wrong country <laughs> hat, isn't it? Yeah. There's also <laughs> what is going on? I did not get the full spectrum of this photo when I first. I think that's a up. Supreme Court justice crying in the bottom center. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Folks can't see that, but we is can that in Sarah our Palin in the bottom left? <laughs> you know it is Sarah Palin. Jeez, Folks, we got JFK gonna, back there too. <laughs> we're gonna move here to the game, uh, a good game that is called Red, White, that and Blue. Davy Crockett. <laughs> I apologize. I'm getting too excited over here. Uh, we're gonna play a new game here. Now, Ian, I will let you help me here. For level, I don't know. Floaters seems a little uh, poop-related. Leap of Faith. You want Leap of Faith? Where's that one at? There it is. Second from the bottom. And would you like to learn about the U.S. flag history? Just like me at Sunday school. Display, pledge, or the song? The pledge. I like to pledge to God. I hear that. Did you know that pledge is only from, like, the 40s? I didn't know that. I'm pretty sure Jesus wrote it in A.D., so. That's right. 1980. Uh, here we go. We're going to hit start game. This is going to look awful for us, but you at home, uh, you're going to see this. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United oh, States shit. of America and to the republic, to the for, republic which it stands, for which it stands. One, one nation, nation, one nation under, God, under God, indivisible, indivisible, indivisible liberty, liberty, and liberty and justice, just, for all. justice for all. For all. Amen. Amen. We do that every Sunday. Um, I'm here ready to jump. <laughs> I'm ready to see this man salute my pole and these kids loving the Lord. Uh, the frame rate goes to crap anytime I go near a menu, but I just love to collect these little American flags. Uh, would you like to see the main presentation? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we're going to hit enter here. There we go. On September... That's oh, a... <laughs> oh dear Lord in heaven! Off my birthday in 1892, the Youth Companion magazine. You know we're gonna skip this part, but if the Lord should bless you, you go ahead and pause the. Oh dear God, you go ahead and pause that. And there's people just doing God's work. We're gonna hit escape. We're gonna leave the feature presentation. You know I spent ten dollars on this game, and I was kind of hoping for more. S- Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. You found it. What? What? <laughs> I want that. Look US at that little belt buckle. Belt buckle. I thought it was not U.S. for a second. That was incredible. I loved every second of that. Blind justice. Amen. These folks uh, are enjoying. Oh, my heart. Oh, thank God. Oh, here we go. Try for some trivia. Why was the phrase my flag changed to the flag of the United States of America? Those at the National Flag Conference were concerned people would confuse it with their state flag. Fair point. Those at the National Flag Conference were confused people would confuse it with the flag of the European Union. The phrase my flag was Praise changed to the flag the of the United States. Praise to avoid it. confusion. It's Aren't It's the... That one. Which one? The the state flag. You idiot. Well, we gotta read this whole thing again. This sucks. What's the other levels? Well, let's take a look. An incredibly patriotic flag waving 3D adventure about the United States flag. The miners. Oh no. That's mines. Bizarre world. And let's learn about the display of the majesty of the flag. 
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. States of America. To the Republic. To the Republic. For which it stands. One nation. One nation. Under God. Under God. Indivisible. Indivisible. Liberty and justice, Liberty and justice, for, justice for, all. for all. I forgot to change the game name, but everyone use your imagination. Because I'm pretty sure if I alt tab out of this game, it ain't gonna be pretty. There is, is the a man praising Jesus on another planet. And there he is again, in the same this room. Is, this is, is this, wait, no, is but this, this is, is bizarre this world. Is is it? Is it? I barely. I got it right. Uh. If it's oh, true, oh, it's a bunch of. Oh, it's Squid Game. Oh, I love. Oh God. Whatever. The flag should never be displayed with the Union down except as a signal of dire distress in the case of uh, when our our, th our country is under threat. Oh, I didn't make it. You know, I'm glad I spent $10 Oops. on this game, and I'm glad I can never get that money back and that a website still sells this game. But what, what we're going <laughs> to do is we're going to move on, folks. And I don't even... I just, I can't wait to, un oh my god. Okay, thank god. Uh, folks, we're going to move on here to a final segment of the show uh, in which we commune with the devil. Uh, and by the devil, I mean the Lord's communion. We're going to be doing that. Uh, it's going to be fun. I realize I have left my wafers and my drink in the other room, so I do need to go get that. Uh, but, yeah, but you go do that, little boy. Uh, yeah, let me just set this up so I can see everything again, which would be lovely. Um, you go do that. And I'll, I'll be. I'm gonna send us over to communion. Uh, I'm gonna hide a special guest for a second here. Uh, do that. I'm gonna transition over. I'll be right back getting my stuff. Thank you, thank you, folks. Communion. It's all about eating the Lord's flesh and drinking of the Lord's blood. You see, communion brings you closer, like only cannibalism can. We like to do a little special prayer to a nice communion guest, somebody over here who's come to join us for communion, and somebody that we like to address a special prayer to. It brings us closer knowing that we're drinking of the same dew and chomping on the same Doritos. No, well, not the exact same one. We're not going to lady in the trampet. But we like to think of ourselves as uh, people that... Uh, well, how do I put this? We're old school, new school. Old school in that, yes, we're doing communion, but new school in that sometimes the flesh and blood changes. And sometimes there's new people and people that need more prayers than just you and I. All right, let's... Uh, I'm apologize. here. I'm trying to this is get my the, prayer uh, set up. Oh, I realize everyone can see everything. Oh, no, they can't. Thank God. I gotta pour pour me some dew. Let's see right there. There's some Mountain Dew. I can get a chip I mean, out. I here. never get never get tired of that green screen of the bottle. It's, it's so funny. Praise the Lord. Is that your last can, brother William? It is <laughs> the final can, folks. Um, <laughs> Chug it. It is incredible. I'm gonna drink a lot of this. I I just like to say that I've had to look at this bottle of Mountain Dew for months now, and I've really wanted to drink from it, but I couldn't because it's for this show. All right, <clears throat> here we go. You ready, Brother William? Who's our special guest? Our special guest this week is the one and only Hideo Kojima. Hideo Kojima. Now, Brother William, I do have a question. Did we do a previous prayer to Kojima? I don't think so. I think we might have actually, but... Well, this one's a little bit different. Dear Hideo-san Kojima-chan, this is a prayer for redemption. As a disciple of the Lord, I do not support divorce. Amen. And in your separation from Konami, I consider both parties guilty of sin. But recently, the Lord spoke to me of second chances by placing in my hands your brand new game, Death Stranding. And Kojima-san, I owe you an apology. What I originally judged as a confusing game full of tedium is, is still kind of that, but also the beautiful vision of a man obsessed with beautiful cutscenes and morally ambiguous future tech. 
Forgive me, Kojima-san, for in turning my other cheek, I accidentally showed my whole ass. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Ooh, that's stale. Mm. I've had the same bag since we started. Mm. Here. Let me really turn this up for you folks. God, I love communion. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> that went everywhere, Father. It's like the second coming <laughs> over here. Oh, Amen. Man. Folks, Amen. I want to take a moment and talk to you about Sunday service. This was the delusional dream of two men who hey, don't know. Hey, oh, hey, hey, bitch, you hey. better praise God or I'm a shooting that's on God. Praise I ain't playing by my Lord and Savior. God I'm bless you. Job. God bless you, Baron. You and many others have flocked to our presentation. I know it's been a little bit of a Willy Wonka schedule. It turns out uh, Sunday was a bad day for the Lord to pick. The uh, but we will be coming back for Sunday service season two at some point in the future. I think we need to do a little bit more preparation, a little bit more planning, and lock down some dates in advance, as well as apparently find more Christian video games, because I think we done ran out. Or maybe a twist or two. We'll see what's happening. Brother Willie, any closing thoughts for season one of Sunday service? I just want to say thank you, everyone who's watched along the way and praised the Lord with us and uh, and laughed at our jokes. And I think that you are the number one in my heart and you're the number one in God's heart. Amen. Amen. What an incredible run. And I hope y'all are done playing, done playing them nasty, dirty devil video games and stop licking things you shouldn't lick. Thank you, Brother William. You can find us at subpixelfilms.com. We'll be back soon, folks. Amen. Praise the Lord.